Hey everyone, we are back with another video or should I say I am back with another video as you will be seeing only me in this entire video. So this video is about how I have landed on my very first job in Canada in just two days. Yeah, and this is going to be a little longer than the ones that we usually post as I want to make sure that I cover every single thing that one needs to know before they start applying for jobs in Canada. So let's hop into the video. Step 1. Creating Canadian Resumes When I decided to come to Canada, I started to look for the ways I can get a job in here. And there is a very well-known format for resumes that people follow over here. Um, I personally created my resume in Bangladesh and started to apply from there and I will attach my resume over here somewhere for you to look at but I would say there it's, it's always a good idea to search in Google for other templates as well and I personally believe that um, it's always a good idea to print a few copies of your resume and bring those with yourself if you're coming to Canada because it will save a lot of time and money if, um, in comparison to if you're trying to do it from here. Step 2. Creating a job profile. Most of the organizations here use indeed.ca and LinkedIn. So when you are done creating your resume, you can create your job profile employee account in Indeed. And if you already have a LinkedIn account, you can always go ahead and update that. Creating a job profile in Indeed is very easy, very self-explanatory. But if you still need help in creating one, please let me know. I will go ahead and make a separate video on how to create a job profile in Indeed. Step 3. Writing a cover letter. This step is very, very important. I see most of us do not even feel the importance of writing in a cover letter and applying to a job with one. But let me tell you, I had more success in hearing back from the recruiter when I applied to a job with a cover letter in comparison with the one where I did not attach a cover letter. So please write in a good cover letter that explains your work experience in detail. A cover letter provides the hiring manager with further detail on how your skill set aligns with the role, what you can bring to the team and why you want the position. Step 4. Applying for jobs. Once you're done creating your job profiles and writing in your cover letter, you may want to start applying for jobs. But before you start applying, it is always a good idea to look for jobs where the job requirements matches with your skill set and your prior experiences. You can apply for jobs in Canada in two ways. One is going directly to the store and handing them over your resume. And another is applying online, um, be that via LinkedIn, be that via Indeed, or this, that could be their company job portal. I basically did both but let me tell you if if it is a kind of a job um, where you you are going to directly communicate with the customers um, say for it could be a retail job it could be a sales representatives job so you may want to go to the store and handing them over your resume and talk to them a little bit because there might be the store manager or who could be conducting your interview if you are shortlisted so it is always a good idea to go to the store and talk to them because this is kind of a primary filtering process they will talk to you they will look at your body language and your behavior and your communication skill most likely um, and will be judging you over that so it's always a good idea to go to the store with the resume Step 5. Calls for interviews. After you have applied to a few positions, you can expect to receive calls from the recruiter. Most of the companies here will give you a direct call and will talk to you about the position and will try to know you a little for their primary filtering. If they think that you are a good fit for the position, 
they will contact you later on and will fix a date for an in-person or maybe an online interview due to COVID and they will try to know you in detail there. Please be aware that there are a lot of scam calls going around in Canada. So if you are receiving calls from any recruiter that um, maybe you haven't applied to that position before, but you're still getting that call, that could be a little suspicious. And also, if they ask for money to invest on their organization before you start working to them, maybe they can ask you to um, pay for a license or maybe they can ask you to pay for some sort of um, other things, maybe a training or something else. So these are kind of suspicious because if you are coming to a new country and starting a new life, it is it is always a good idea not to invest at the very first few months and you are always coming to a new country to earn money rather to invest a lot of other companies here will um, send you emails or maybe give you messages via indeed um, to set up in person or online interviews to know you more in detail if even after applying to a certain position you do not receive calls from that organization um, you can always send them messages via indeed which is a common practice in here um, to come under spotlight of the recruiter while they're sorting the resumes of the candidates by messaging them you are showing more interest for the position and they will also know that you are kind of interested on their organization and also for the position and this also helps in waiting time because if for any reason they are unable to shortlist you this time, they will let you know since you have contacted them. Step six, prepping for interviews. After you have gotten a call for an in-person or an online interview, please go over the job ad as many times as possible. Try to make a bridge between your prior experiences and set of skills that you have with the job description that they have provided. Because by this, they will know that you are familiar with the set of tasks that they are requiring for that particular role. A lot of companies here have core values, so it is always a good idea to bring some of the core values while you are communicating with the recruiter at the interview because they will get an idea that you are not only a good fit for the position but also a good fit for the company. And it is definitely very important before an interview, please go over the company website their all of their social media sites and youtube channel if they have any because it will give you a lot of in-depth knowledge about the company how they work what are their products are so that you can nail it the interview step seven calls for references if you are getting calls for references or maybe an email for giving two to three persons name number and email addresses as of your reference you can be 60 to 70 percent sure of getting hired but you have to keep in mind that there might be a chance that there is a tie between you and some other candidate and the recruiter will ask for references to both of the candidates and then see whichever has good references and come up with uh, good things about them and that person will be hired uh, well in canada's resume format we do not give in references beforehand rather the recruiter calls for it and then ask for it after your interview and then people usually provides the references and it is always very important to choose your references very wisely because they are the ones who can get you the job um, if they do not come up with good things to say about you most likely you won't be hired by the organization and when it was in my time I gave in two of my former team leads references and most definitely they said good things about me and I got the job step eight 
Step 8. Receiving confirmation letter. If after giving your references and then you receive the confirmation letter, you are being congratulated by the organization, you got the job. But then again, you have to look into all of the company benefits, the booklet that they share, everything that they are attaching on that email. Please, please, please go over each and everything very carefully, read thoroughly and, un and try to understand everything that they are saying. If you have any questions regarding any of the things that they have in their booklet or in their contract, please make sure you ask them all of the questions in that stage before signing the contract. Because if you sign the contract and send it to them and then you ask the questions, there will be no point of asking those. Bonus step, tips. I'll be giving you a few tips before you start applying or while you are applying to different types of jobs. So tip number one would be updating your resume and your cover letter per application. Because every job is different from the other one, every job role is different, every job requirements from that role will be different from one another. So it, it is always a very good idea to update your resume as per those job requirements and job descriptions because if they see that there are match between the candidate with the particular role, chances are more likely that you will get a call for an interview. Tip number two, scam alert. This is a very serious issue. You have to be aware of the scam calls because there are people who will try to take money from you, baiting you with a very lucrative position. If you haven't applied to a particular position or maybe an organization where they are calling you from, most likely it is a scam call. People wouldn't be asking money from you while they're offering you a particular position. Rather, they should be offering you a salary. Most of the times, these positions are not salary based, rather these are commission based. So you can look for these three rules to get to know that if these are scams or these are real jobs. Tip number three, storytelling. Well, this is something that I got to know after coming in Canada. This is something that my uh, very close friend's husband told me, who is a recruiter in Australia. Bhaiya told me that it is very important and very easy to communicate while you are telling a story. So if, if you are giving an interview and the interviewer asks you questions like, did you have any disagreement with your supervisor at some point of your career or maybe your CEO and how did you deal with that? So you can tell them the story where you actually had a disagreement with your supervisor or maybe a colleague or maybe your CEO and what happened there and how did you react to that situation? So while you are telling them the story, it will be easier for you to communicate because you're telling them a story. And also it will be better for the interviewer to understand that you have good communication skill and the way you have reacted is a positive way most definitely and they will hire you. Tip number four, applying to jobs as early as possible. If you know that there is a certain date that you will be landing in Canada or maybe a um, certain date that you want to start to apply for jobs in Canada, do it. Because um, when it was my turn, I started applying for jobs from Bangladesh and it really helped. I said for three different interviews, one of them were scam, and I came in here and then I applied for the job that I am doing currently. And then I got a call the same day for an interview. I gave in the interview the other day and then the day after they called for my references and then I got the job. 
so yeah that was my journey of how i have landed on a job in just two days and i pretty much believe that if i can do this anyone can do as well so if you are someone who is willing to come to canada or maybe you know that there is a certain date that you will be coming to canada on please start to prepare for all of these steps say for make your resume make your indeed account look for jobs look for the job requirements and i think um the more you research about these things the more likely to get a job um very early so you don't want to come to a different country and sit for a long time without any job so yeah i hope this entire video gave you a few information about how you can land on a job and what are the steps that you should be following um if you think that this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you wanna watch more videos like these um you can always comment down in the comment box and please subscribe to our channel my husband is not in this video but he will be on the next ones most probably he's very busy with his study right now so yeah um share our videos if you like it and if you think someone will be benefited from this video share that so yeah that's it for today stay happy stay safe and we will see you next time